name is Chin Fan, and today we're going to be doing a, a air brake inspection on a NASCAR International. Um, to get started, the first thing we're going to do is to stop the vehicle because we're going to uh, have to release the parking brakes in order to check the system. Right. Um, I already went ahead and emptied both the primary and uh, secondary tank. Um, so next, we're going to go up into the cab. come up in here um, there's gonna be a few things um, before I turn on the vehicle we're gonna check we're gonna check to see if um, the low um, air warning is um, operational the air pressure should build up to above 60 psi before the low um, the low air indicator shuts off if it shuts off prior to that then it's uh, faulty also um, the air pressure the compressor should build up to 80 psi to 120 within 40 seconds. I have a timer on my phone to actually check that. So with that said, let's go ahead and uh, start it up. As you can hear the low air indicator. Let's go ahead and start. And I'll put this at high idle. Go ahead and turn off the engine. All right, the next uh, check that we'll do is we'll do the PP1 uh, check, which is um, we're going to check the parking side of the brakes. What we're going to do is um, press and release the parking brakes, and we're going to walk around and um, try to listen in and hear for any um, types of leaks that we can hear. recommend that you bring a, a bottle of soapy water with you. Some um, air leaks are so small that you pretty much can't hear it. But if you had a uh, soapy water where you can spray onto like uh, the fittings and um, hoses, you can probably see the smaller um, leaks that come out. So the PP1 
now we're going to go back into the cab and then we're going to test out the PP2, which is the service side. So my assistant, um, step on the brakes and we'll walk around and check the, for any leaks on the service side brakes. Thank you, Hall. Alright. And we'll just do the same thing. We'll walk around and check for uh, if we can hear any uh, leaks on the server side. Alright, it seems like the service side of the brakes um, is in good condition, the no leaks I can uh, hear. So next, we're gonna, we're gonna test the uh, check valve that's in between the split tank. What's gonna happen is pretty much I'm gonna drain out the primary tank. And once I drain that, the check valve is supposed to prevent the secondary tank from uh, filling back up the primary tank. Over. So, after I do this, we'll go back into the cab and look at the gauges and you should see that um, the gauges are off a little bit and that um, the secondary tank is not going to flow back into the primary tank. Before um, I released the air out of the primary tank, you can see that um, the secondary and the primary tank were about even. And I let some air out of the primary tank and it's dropped down to around 80 PSI. And while the secondary tank still around 110. And it's not compensating back into the primary tank, so you know that check valve is good. Alright. And that concludes the inspection. Thank you for watching.